So, did you hear about it? A uh, guilty verdict in a murder-for-hire plot that shocked the Cheltenham Township community. In fact, it shocked everybody in town. It did. Rachel King was shot to death in front of her 11-year-old son, Jalen, as they stopped at a Dunkin' Donuts last April. They were on their way to Jalen's violin lesson, and Rachel was a beloved teacher at Mastery's Grover Cleveland Elementary School and also a beloved sister and family member. Ayana here is here, family. her sister. Uh, Alan is back with his uh, brother. Uh, this, I mean, the verdict is in, and it, it took the jury like an hour or something. It th doesn't make it any, any easier, does it? Not no. at all. Not at all. The jury didn't even take an hour. Yeah. Um, but Rachel's absence is felt. I mean, she was light and life and joy, a fierce advocate. Um, kind and just good, right? Just just truly, you know when Rachel was in the room, um, in part because she um, <laughs> is loud. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, in part, she also has a very distinct laughter, right? So you, you know, to have that level or that magnitude of presence gone. You missed that laugh. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. How close were you? So I'm looking at pictures of her and seeing you. You guys, you can tell your sisters. My oh, goodness. absolutely. So when we were younger, <laughs> folks asked if we were twins. <laughs> I How bet. How are you? Uh, so we are three years apart. Three okay. Years you younger? I'm the older sister. You're older. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but I'm mean, she's my only sister. So, yeah. um, there are a lot of times where I just am like, there were two of us. You know, there were two of us, and. Um, and I think it's also just the small things, right? Even in terms of as the season's changing, you know, she'd call and say, girl, have you gone through your closet yet? <laughs> she's like, you know, is there something for me to come pick up, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, she's just like, and you know. sister, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and really missing those yeah. things, right? And also, I think as Jalen continues to mature and get older, I think he kind of favors her even more. Oh, really? I really think so. Jalen is what? He'd be 12 now, right? Yes, Jalen mm -hmm. turned 12 in October. How's he been doing? He's killing it. <laughs> he's killing it. I mean, he's he got straight A's this last report card wow. period. Um, had violin recital. Got, had a solo that we didn't know about until we got there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, he's 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 adjusted better than probably any of us. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Does he talk resilient. about it? The, what happened to his mom? I would say, I don't know that I would say he talks about the day as much as he does still talk about her oh, very much. Yes. Um, and so whether it's kind of like, oh, mommy would let me do this, or this time mommy, you know, those types of things. So he still very much talks about her. Um, every now and again, he may talk about the day. Um, and I think for him, some of it is just the all of the people, right? All of the people that came to help him that day. Yeah, um, yeah. All the people he had to talk to that day. Mm. Um, it was a traumatic day. Incredibly traumatic. Incredibly traumatic. long day. Um, Something that will affect him the rest of his life. Oh, mm. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I think one of the things, you know, I did share with him um, was that the forensic interview that he did the day Rachel was killed um, was shown in court. And so I let him know, I said, you know, we saw that, like we saw you, you know, and he was kind of surprised, um, but I think he was also relieved. I know we were relieved because we didn't want him to have to testify in court. Yeah. Right. And right. so extremely grateful for the work that Mission Kids did in terms of doing that forensic interview. Mm -hmm. um, but I think in telling Jalen that, it also felt like he had that moment of, so I contributed, right? Yeah. Um, which I think was really important for him. And even though this, it's so tragic and that it won't bring her back, do you feel that justice was served in the verdict and the fact that they'll be spending life in prison? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that um, more than anything, no one should ever have to worry about those two individuals causing any more harm. Um, I know when my family, when we told Jalen yesterday mm -hmm. um, and really laid out for him, right, what does life in prison mean, right? Like, what does that sentencing mean? And to tell him, you know, that they will never come out, that they won't be able to ever do this again. Um, he smiled and was just like, yeah, I feel better. Yeah. Mm, I feel better. So, Alan, as we, we've got to wrap this up here, but uh, describe your sister. How do you describe oh, she Rachel? Was, she, was, she was good. I felt like, like good period. And she, we were two hours apart, but I was wild and she was not. And <laughs> she let me know it. But uh, when we were younger, she used to always tell me about everything. And I miss, I miss that. I miss her telling on me. Like, tell me, please, you know? Yeah. Um, but I, the forgiveness part for me has already been there. Um, you know, people ask about the verdict, and it's like, yeah, I'm happy he was guilty. Doesn't bring her back. 
nothing right. will. No. So I can be angry about that or just, you know, accept what it is right now and, and thankful that justice was served the way it was. Yeah. All right. Thank you both for yes, coming thank in. Thank you. Yeah. And give All our right. love to Jalen. We will.